go talk to Arabeth. Let's go. Arabeth rubs her red, uh, red and tired eyes. Any success? How's the city? Um, these ward stones. What are they? Allow me to ask. So tell me about the Eagle Watch. Uh, there's trader. Arabeth arches her eyebrows. Kinnabrus is threatened by a demon horde, and you have enough spare time to help out these? Earbeth sighs. I don't like this, but I hope you know what you're doing. I'll tell you everything I know. I did not see my informant's face. He slipped out of a dark alley, handed me the note, and disappeared. Earbeth hesitates as she tried to remember. He had a dark cloak with a hood masking his face, but the horns... The long, straight horns didn't fit under. Uh, what is our main objective? There should be a guardian golem at the ancestor. Uh, uh, and sentries, each entry, ass sentries. Ah, oh, God, and wonders. Uh, the shop they tried to rob. The owner gave us the construct's code word, just in case. The golem itself was destroyed, but the head seems to be intact. So you can interrogate the thing and find out what it saw. The code word is Hand of Iori. The shop's owner must have escaped, but there's a chance you'd get lucky with a golem. Uh, you heard that, that what the demon uh, said. They're going to desecrate the ward stones and blow up the whole barrier around the wo world wound. That would be an even worse disaster than the wor world wound's expansion. Before the Second Crusade, not only Kinnabras, but every city with a ward stone will be destroyed, including the capital. We can't allow that, no matter what. We will retake it, even destroy it if we must. Iomade's gift must not become a weapon of the abyss. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. All right. So. Mm -hmm. Shall we go to the library? Is that what we're gonna go to first? I think so. Let's go to the library, see if we can't find the blind man. All right? That's one of our main goals here. Find the blind man. Go to the library and find the blind man. Actually, it's all right. Accept that. Let's see what we can do there. All right. <laughs> Let's go to the library. The library. Oh, that's a long, long travel. You know what? I probably need to rest at some point in time. Hanged cultist, continue. Let's go back to the hanged cultist. Lost bag. Travel to the lost bag. Except travel to the library. Enter. <laughs> All right. What do we got going on here? Storyteller. Uh, 
I'll go ahead. A beefy knight with a head of messy black hair stands before you. His armor is spattered with blood. He greets you with a deep, booming voice. Ha, Crusaders! Excellent! I am Captain Caleb Sezamon. And these are my men. I am about to burn these vile backstabbers and heretics here. These pathetic, pathetic imitators of the traitor Eralu who trick their way into the ranks of the Crusaders. The knight nods at a heap of several severely beaten people with a strange elf whose appearance seems jarring for some unknown reason. Says my bellows, below bellows threats at his prisoners. He seems to be in a state of deep shock and utter terror. A strange feeling rises up with you. It is pure instinct. You don't know what you're about to do, but you are certain it's right. So perception, I have a plus eight, plus seven, the both twelve. Take a closer look at the ruthless crusader. Uh, King. Okay, I gained 11 experience. I'm not going to pass that. Let's try lore religion. I think they're fake, right? They're all fake. Failed. A lore religion check. After careful studying the Crusaders army, you can say with certainty that they aren't fakes. These men are real Crusaders. Trickster, chaotic trickster, mythic paths. Path. Give in to the strange instinct. Idiot, stop. Heed my commands in the name of Baphomet. The words fall out of your mouth before you can even think them. Some gut instinct told you that this is precisely what needs to be said in this moment, and the words hit their target. The crusaders jump in surprise and look at each other in terror. You perform the chaotic action. Kind of chaotic. Continue. Caleb was sitting there and break and barks out. Sorry, couldn't have known. We'll fix it right away, sir. An inexplicable feeling of right, rightness flows through you. You enjoy seeing the look of oafish terror in their faces and the crusader and his lackeys when you rebuke them for their fecklessness. Their fecklessness. Can anyone really tell me they knew the word fecklessness? Can you? Uh, let's see. An inexplicable feeling of righteous rightness flows through you. You enjoy seeing the look at Terry's face, the Crusaders, and the Black Beast. Oh. Fecklessness. Report. Who are you? Caleb is a crusader name. Are you a crusader? I here to give you a name worthy of a demon. Foul snipe. Biting his lip. Go with my gut. I'm going with my gut all the way. <laughs> Biting his lip, the bold cultist proudly thrusts out his chest. Thank you, sir. Foul snot furrows his brow in a display of menace, trying to show his brutal determination to take on all crusader forces put together. Listen to your gut. Stop wasting valuable fuel. There's plenty more where that came from, sir. We'll do everything you've ordered, and just as soon as those crusaders arrive, we'll be 
there'll be dead meat. I'll go make sure that we get another. No, make it another two barrels of alchemist fire from the Great Garrison storeroom. Things are going to burn right up in there. In dialogue. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. Let's go talk to these people. I've spotted something. A blind elf stands before you. He looks extremely strange. His face wears its shears heavily. Well, I mean, he had to come from Kingmaker all the way here, so, you know, it happens. Uh, which is unusual for members of his race. Thinning gray hair, a ragged beard, sightless, milky eyes, pale, papery skin covered in age spots. A spine curved by the passage of time. This is not hell how elves typically age. The youth that graces the faces of elves, even on their deathbed, has totally abandoned this decrepit specimen. That is an elf? With a beard? I guess the worst can be found even among the best. Bearded elf. Hmm, how very intriguing. If you please, I would like to pluck out a hair of that phenomenon manifesting on your chin. In the interest of science, of course. The old elf holds out his hand in your direction in the perennial gesture of the blind, greeting you with an unexpected, strong, and calm voice. Hello. I am Storyteller, and I wish to thank my rescuers. That is you, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's go. I'm taking you to the Defender's Heart. Please accept my sincere thanks once again. And if I may please, don't rush. I will struggle to keep up with you and your legs. The storyteller lowers his voice slightly. And, and I, am I not the only one thankful to you? That young crusader over there is eager to give you his regards. But he is too shy to approach you. I can tell from his quickened breathing. When we reach a safe place, take pity on the lad and accept his thanks. All right. Go ahead and get some stuff. Get some stuff. We got a book. <sighs> that shadow of death, expecting nothing in return. Life feeds the Lord. <sighs> okay, in my own time, I'm going to read all this stuff. What's that? Stunning barrier. Mm. Trash, 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 butter. Okay. Okay, that seems to be it, right? Canna girl, let's go, let's go, let's go. It went splendidly. Demonic blade fell from the fell upon the fell upon the lava splitting wounds to the enormous black scars. It is possible that Desk himself was the one to destroy the building with his terrifying sight. Okay. Let's head out. So we have really nothing else. Okay. Let us go back to the. Let's go back to the inn. We had to travel. Shall we get stopped? Lost back again. Continue. Prepare to fight. 
Let's prove their Let logic is lacking. Let us to fight. Oh, behind us, huh? Who's that? Spell here. The close range. Round days. The prison screen. Well, that was nice. Okay. No loots? Okay, there's the loots. You know me and loots. Scroll of Cosphere, nice. Exactly sure why that is not allowing me to pick that up. But that's okay. That is okay. That is okay. We will deal with that. That is fine. That is fine. All right. Let's just. We will now exit the area. Go with your gut. Let us travel. It's probably about time to go to sleep, too. Right? Yeah, so fatigue character cannot charge and take some minus two. Yeah, I'm trying to go to sleep. That's why I'm going back. Okay. Okay, they're fatigued. Let's continue. I understand. I'm trying to go back so we can go to sleep. <laughs> 